Okay, everybody, um, we're getting ready to do our 11th run, which I'm not running now. I can't run physically at all. But I'm, Bob is going to record me going up this hill. I can barely walk. And then I'm going to try to run for y'all. I'm gonna try to run. This is after we've done 40 miles, right? Yeah. 40 miles. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna try to run. Oh. <laughs> That's the best I can give you right now, man. That's the best I can give. All right. I'm not gonna try that again. Yeah, okay. Bobby, I think he's feeling a little better. He's gonna run it out. Daniel is still running and walking. Uh, I haven't been running for quite some time now since last night was my best. Sometime at midnight of that run was my, my best and last hoorah. Now it's, um, whew. Whew. we have eight miles left. So we have two more um, run sessions. This is 12 o'clock coming up. Yeah, 12 o'clock. And then we'll have one more at four. Oh man, I gotta get my shoes on. Just getting up and down is unbelievable with the pain. So anyway, we got blistered yesterday too. Look at that. Uh, and it's not, the wind is not blowing today. So it's just one of them hot, muggy, sunny summer days here in, in Alabama. Ooh, this pain is unbelievable. But we're about to have it completed. This, this is, suck ain't even a word for it. Anyway, we'll, um, we're going to get started here shortly. And then we're going to do, uh, I guess, one more video at the end. I think I'm going to celebrate with a big juicy steak and a big old load of baked potato. And I was sitting here earlier thinking about something. I did a beast last November, and it was tough. And during the beast, it was so cold and rainy. My thoughts during that time was, will I ever be warm again? And we were up in uh, North Carolina. And I mean, when I say it was rainy, it was just nonstop rain. And I think the high, the temperature was in the low 40s. And I, I was able to get a garbage bag and make me a little, uh, like a jacket out of it. And that's what helped me finish, but it took me forever. And sometime during the night when we were out there, it was either the 12 or the 4 a.m. session. I was like thinking about that. But now I'm thinking, will I ever stop hurting? <laughs> it's unbelievable what you, your body can take and what you are uh, capable of. I, coming in this thing Friday, I didn't think I would be here sitting here about to do number 11 and then do 12 and be finished with this thing. But if I hold out physically, I know mentally I've got this done. So see ya.